Hi everyone, today I'm going to be going over how to do some data binding uh, within our data sources menu and how to show dynamic data in our content editor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to encourage you to go to our knowledge base and look up our XML connections guide. Uh, the link will be below in the description, but we're going to use that link highlighted below and we're going to use that later. So let's get into our spreadsheet here. As you see, I've already put in some of the information. Uh, in this case, we have menu items, we have the price, and then we have the picture link, which is a direct link uh, that goes to pictures of various foods. So to share this, we need to go to File, Publish to Web, and then click Publish here. Make sure it's the entire document and a web page. And then click OK. And we don't need to copy this link. We're just going to exit out. But we do want to copy this ID that's up here within our browser. So I'm going to take that ID and I'm going to put it in my notepad. I also have that URL that we copied from our knowledge base article. Uh, again, link below in the description. And basically we're going to copy this and uh, we're going to take that and put it into our data sources menu within our CMS. Now that we're at our homepage, let's go to settings. And from here, we're going to open up the side panel and click on data sources. This is gonna take us to our data sources menu and we're gonna click add new. We could click create new Google spreadsheet, uh, but we have an existing spreadsheet we wanna add. So we're gonna use that existing URL and I'm gonna give it a name, paste in that URL from our notepad. Let me just pull that up. So again, this is the ID and above here, this is the link that we need to copy, this entire link. Uh, if you want to do several pages in a spreadsheet, uh, you change that one from a two, three, uh, just depends on the order that your sheets are sorted in. But let's go ahead and paste in that URL. And for type, we want to go ahead and choose Google Sheet. Now, once we've chosen that, we can change the refresh time. So if you are pulling in data quicker than 300 seconds, then you may want to change that. So I just click saved. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get into the content editor to bind that data. So now that we're in our content editor, we want to bring in a couple widgets. In this case, it's going to be our text widgets. These are going to be from our columns. So uh, we're going to have the name of the food item as well as the price. Uh, first, let me get these lined up here. Uh, just need to move this a bit. There we go. And the next widget I want to bring in is my image widget. This is going to be that direct link we had for that picture in the spreadsheet. So we're going to pull in the picture of the food as well. So we want to make sure to go to our other properties and then click on the bind data cursor. And this is going to allow us to go to our data picker where we're going to pick out our spreadsheet, the row that we want to reference, as well as the menu item. So as you see, we now have our menu item chosen. Once again, same process, choose our spreadsheet, choose the row, and then choose our column. In this case, it's the price. For image, it's a little different, so we're still going to bind the data and find things like normal. And as you see, we're going to pull that in, and there we are. And then when it shows up on the content editor, it's actually going to show the picture instead of the link. So now that we've done that, um, I want to show you a way in which that we can pull in many images, prices, as well as menu items at the same time. So we're going to use our table element. In this case, it's going to allow us to choose our spreadsheet and then bring in the things that we want to bring in for the columns. So the price, picture, and menu item. So once I've toggled those visible, I want to go ahead and move them around. So I want to have the name first, price second, and then the picture link, like so. But what we also have to change here, and it's important to note, is change our picture link to display as an image rather than text. And there we go. As you see here, we, uh, we still have our headers here, so I forgot to remove that. Um, but we have the menu items, we have price, and then the picture. So if I go back, click on the cursor, I'm just going to go ahead and remove those headers. And now let's say I didn't want to display all those items. Um, we can do pagination. So toggle automatic pagination. I only want to show a couple items at a time, and I want to go ahead and have those fade. So. It's going to show a certain number of items. It's going to fade in between that and then show the next set. As you see here, it's already displaying within our content editor. So from here, you can go ahead and stylize it like normal with many of our other uh, widgets. So I'm just going to go ahead and change the color here, make it blue. Oop, 
didn't look like that went. There we go. Okay. So now that we have this, let's go ahead and save and preview and see what it looks like. And there we have it. We have the names of our uh, foods as well as the prices and the pictures. Uh, this can be set up in a very stylistic way uh, using our content editor, but this is just a quick example to show some simple data integration. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us as always. But that's going to be the end of this video. Um, if you do have a question, email us at sales at wobble.info. Thank you and see you next time.